Friends and family of Pam and Marshall, welcome and thank you for being here on this most important day. We are gathered together to celebrate the very special love between Pam and Marshall by joining them in marriage. They are taking the first step of their new beginning, their new life together. The ability and desire for one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that has been entrusted to us. It is an all-consuming task, a lifelong endeavor, the journey we've been preparing for all of our lives. Loving someone is a reason to stretch beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges humans to become all that we are meant to be. As they join in marriage today, Pam and Marshall are announcing to the world that they are welcoming that challenge. We are here today to celebrate the love which Pam and Marshall have for each other and to give social recognition to their decision to commit their lives and accept each other totally. Do you, Marshall, take Pam to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? I do. Do you, Pam, take Marshall to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? I do. Pam and Marshall are here to marry each other. No one else's will can create such a beautiful union. It is their words, their intentions, their vision that must define and shape this marriage. So I call upon them now to state their promises before this group, the pledges that will bind them together forever. The bride and groom have written their own vows to each other, and Marshall will go first. <laughs> it's not that long, I promise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pam, when you caught my eye for the first time, I never expected this to turn into the decade-long romance <laughs> that it has. After all, we were only in eighth grade. Since then, our shared journey on numerous adventures, career opportunities, raising two beautiful dogs, <laughs> spending time with each other's families, and drinking copious amounts of bubble tea, <laughs> has shown me what it means to be your best friend and your partner. As I thought about what has defined our relationship over these last few years, I realized that everywhere we go turns into a memorable adventure. The list is really long, but my favorite story is how a few years ago, we both felt the need to take a break from the nine to five and go on vacation. <laughs> we, we went to Turks and Caicos with the plan to just sit on the beach until I got sunburnt because, well, you don't. <laughs> what we originally planned as a super lazy trip turned into the trip of a lifetime together. We got to drive on the wrong side of the road, <laughs> snorkel off the reef in the middle of the ocean, apparently with a barracuda that I missed the warning for, 
We jumped off of boats, we ate raw conch, we played with rescue dogs, and even parasailed over the turquoise ocean of Grace Bay with our esteemed captain, Smiley Face, <laughs> which was easily one of the most thrilling moments of my life. You made it absolutely incredible, and I'm so glad I got to spend that time with you. Many people who see us today know we've been together for a really long time, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention that every minute we put into this relationship forged a stronger, more dedicated bond that I am so grateful to have with you. For four years of college, we either spent hours driving or taking trains across Virginia to see each other. And when I took my first job on the West Coast, those hours spent traveling continued adding up as we flew across the country just to be with each other for a few days at a time. We spent a lot of time in different cities and at times it seemed like we were never going to be together. It was really hard, it tested both of us, but it was part of the journey and created a resilient love that I would do again for you. I love many things about you. You're there with me for all of the good times as we continue growing together and you keep me grounded during difficult times as well. You continuously energize me and encourage me. Whether it's sharing a laugh, discussing our future dreams together, or indulging me on last minute trips, which you know are just excuses for me to drive my car. <laughs> you show me compassion, patience, respect, and endless amounts of love. You have a zest for life and a passion for helping people and family. I'm lucky to have you in my life. You're truly an amazing person. As we look forward to our future together, I'm excited to spend it with you. As your husband, I promise to love you more each day than the day before, to surprise you with your favorite Ferrero Rocher chocolates, <laughs> to reach out to you and say hello in the middle of the day, even if you're busy at work, and to keep making you the number one priority in my life. I know it's been over 10 days since we first met, over one year since we said yes in Tokyo's Odaiba Bay, and there were moments when getting married with our close family in 2020 seemed dubious, but I'm thankful and glad to say we made it to today, and that I got to say this, you are the one. Here's the decades of more romance. I love you. All right, I need my bath. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I also printed them really small, so apologies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Marshall, last week I sat down to write our vows, and all these memories came flowing through my brain. After I pulled out the entire box of letters, burned CDs, Christmas cards, graduation cards, yearbook messages that we kept representing the last 12 years of our lives together. And yes, I counted. <laughs> um, not many people can say they married their high school sweetheart and best friend. I remember the very first time I saw you, it was actually around this time of the year in 8th grade gym, uh, the day of our school-wide costume contest. We hadn't officially met, but for some reason that day your hippie costume caught my eye and I like to think that it was a sign. Um, flash forward to high school when we started hanging out with mutual friends, it didn't take long for me to fall hard for you. Even then, you stood out to me. You were so carefree, hilarious, caring, and anywhere we went we had such a good time. I don't know if I've told you this part, but the first day of school, junior year, when you walk through um, our AP World History class, I was so excited that you were in it. And I mustered up every ounce of courage to say hi and offer you the seat next to me. It was the best risk I've ever taken. Earlier today, and I hope you saw it, <laughs> I left you a handmade booklet I found that I made for you in 2008 with the 10 things that I loved about you filled with the silly reasons that a 16 year old would say that they loved you. In 12 years times, we've had amazing times together and adventures, but we've also had to work through hardships and obstacles, both as individuals and as a couple. We have watched each other grow up into adults and have taken those challenges to become stronger in our communication, commitment to one another, and to learn what love really is. Life isn't as simple as it was when we were teenagers, but I wanted to take the time to tell you why after 12 years growing together, I love you more than ever. 
Marshall, I love you because you're so passionate about your dreams and your future. You're the hardest worker I know, and I love you because you've taught me to never, never settle for just our right or the status quo. I love you for your need for for your need for adventure and how you're always down for new experiences and fun times with me. I promise to encourage you, encourage your dreams, thank you, um, and motivate you just as you do for me. I promise to celebrate our successes and walk beside you whatever adventure life brings, both good and bad. I love you because you're honest, thoughtful, and immensely generous with your family, friends, and with me, which we have all seen. Every day you go out of your way to care for me and the dogs and make us feel loved. I admire your selflessness and dedication to help whoever you see in need while always remaining humble and never seeking attention, retribution, or praise for your help, which is refreshing in this world. <laughs> you have taught me the importance of humility. And just as you care for others and for me, I promise to always put you first and make sure that to be the one who is looking out for you and make sure that you feel loved. Lastly, I love you because you're my best friend. You have shown me that you love me without judgment. You know me better than anyone else in the world, good and bad, and you still manage to love me. And that's why even at a young age, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my days with you. And with that promise, I promise to love you unconditionally as well, but to make sure to occasionally call out when you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> um, we have blossomed from two teens to two adults who have learned that pure love takes hard work and dedication, but also the willingness to have fun. And I'm ready for that adventure as your wife. You're my best friend and I'm the luckiest person in the world to call you mine. Marshall, as you place the ring on Pam's finger, please repeat after me. This one. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I marry you and bind my life to yours. I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. It is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all of my tomorrows. <laughs> Pam, as you place the ring on Marshall's finger, please repeat after me. <laughs> With this ring. With this ring. I marry you and bind my life to yours. I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my eternal love. As a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Throughout this ceremony, Pam and Marshall have vowed in our presence to be loyal and loving towards each other. They have formalized the existence of the bond between them with words spoken and with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, it is my pleasure to now pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Marshall and Pam Masterson. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Should I dip you? Sure. Should I dip you? <laughs> oh. I didn't drop you, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, are we live? Hi everyone, thank hey. you so much for coming. Yeah. Muchas gracias por venir a todos, les queremos mucho. Yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. I know uh, many of you are in different time zones and we're we're very appreciative of all the time you've taken uh, to join us on this special occasion. Yes, so thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, take care. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.